Oh, why are you putting on the winter earmuffs, little kitty? It's already warm in here. This place has earwigs and eat rain. <laughs> oh, so are you afraid that an earwig will enter your ears? Yes. Well then. To help you fight this fear, let me answer a creepily crawling question. What happens if an earwig goes into your ear? Zoom in! Earwigs are lean insects, usually ranging from half an inch to an inch in length. Their head features antennae and prominent compound eyes. But the standout feature of earwigs is their pair of pincer-like appendages called circe situated at the end of their abdomen. But let's get things straight. Earwigs have earned quite a bad rap thanks to some seriously spooky stories about them. Yes, according to centuries-old European superstition, these bugs are notorious for sneaking into the ears of a sleeping person to lay eggs or worse, for eating their brains. Yikes! But is this for real? Firstly, earwigs have quite an appetite, munching on all sorts of bugs and plants. But luckily, human brains are definitely not on their menu. Secondly, while these bugs make fancy warm and moist spots, like under rocks, logs or in soil, Human ears aren't exactly their dream vacation spot for settling down and starting a bug family. So, the stories surrounding these insects are purely fictional and lack scientific records to back them up. Phew! But here's the twist. Since many bugs, including earwigs, seek out small hiding spots, there's a chance they might accidentally venture into human ears. Let's dive into what could happen next. You see, our ears are divided into three main parts. The outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. The outer ear comprises a tube known as the ear canal, leading to the eardrum. This canal is protected by ear wax and tiny hairs, acting as barriers against unwanted intruders. So, if an earwig were to venture into the ear, it would likely get stuck in the outer ear canal. In case some stubborn bug does manage to reach the delicate membrane of the eardrum, even though it might cause a lot of discomfort, it's not easy for small objects like bugs to break through this defensive wall unless there's strong force or pressure involved. Even if it miraculously passed the eardrum breaking through the barriers of the middle ear, it would be next to impossible due to the three tiny bones called ossicles. This means it's highly unlikely for an earwig or any bug to reach the inner ear because there are no direct pathways for an insect, even a strong one, to crawl from the outer or middle ear into the inner ear, which is deeply protected within the skull. So rest easy, bug phobies. While a bug in your ear might make you twitch, the odds of it crawling into your brain are as likely as finding a mermaid in your bathtub. All thanks to our ears that are bug-proof zones, complete with their bug defense squad. But still, as there are certain risks involved with any insect entering a ear, it's essential to stay calm and try tilting your head to the affected side to help the insect move out naturally. And if it doesn't come out, quickly rush to the doctors who are experts in safely handling such incidents. Trivia time! Did you know that Yerwig's name comes from the Old English word Yerwigga, which roughly translates to Yerwiggler or Yer Creature? Also, there are around 2,000 species of Yerwigs found around the globe. It's catching time!
Today's sketch of the day goes to Avantika Shukla. Hope you felt relieved today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Look, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>